guys, what's up? Sherry here from the Fox Giving Crew. How's it going? Okay, so this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for um, September 15th until the 22nd. So I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for the comments, the likes, the shares. You guys rock. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is... Um, let's do a crystal ball. Um, so it's a five by five grid, uh, distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. There are four cornerstone cards, which represent the main energy in the reading, and then one center card, which represents the main message from the universe. So, um, this will be the masculine energy only. Okay, so first cornerstone card, distant past. So the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. So, you know, this is being knocked down time and time again. So it also represents being on a spiritual journey. So there's, there's illumination here and spiritual strength. But at the same time, there's a feeling of wanting to give up and walk away, you know, that um, you've invested too much of your energy into pursuing your passion um, to the point where it's draining you. But generally when the, this card shows up, it means that, uh, you know, you have that strength within you to give it a final push. So this is a cornerstone card, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Wow. Oh my God. I was totally thinking about that. I was like, that'd be hilarious if the next card was a Ten of Wands and here it is, Ten of Wands. So this is being caught in the machine, working day in, day out, burning the candle, both ends. Complete exhaustion giving too much of yourself. So the reading starts off with this explosion of fire. Let me just turn that sound off, sorry. Okay, um, next, Five of Pentacles. So this is a feeling of lack, feeling, um, you know, of being left out in the cold, disconnected, uh, a financial loss and this could also mean that you've had to disconnect yourself with something in the 5d or sorry the 3d um, in order to free yourself so there came this climatic point where you said fuck it I need to look after myself I need to concentrate on myself not on the material world, but on my, my spiritual growth, my, you know, work on my soul. Next, death card, wow, wow. So death card, metamorphosis, transformation, death of the ego, death of your old identity, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis. So you went through a major shift you were reborn. So it's, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes. And cornerstone card, final row. Wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. The sun card, the most positive card in the deck, but more importantly, this is masculine power, masculine energy. It is, um, you know, manifestation. It is abundance. It's a brand new beginning. It's a birth is what it is. So every positive thought that you can imagine is associated with this card. Wow, what a crazy journey. It's beautiful. So, recent past position, chariot, movement forward. I remember the last couple of weeks, um, the masculine was getting the chariot 
in the near future position. So this is taking control of your life, taking control of those reins and directing yourself towards your goal, the thing that makes you happy, overcoming obstacles. So it's an outward um, projection or movement. And you know, this is a water card, so it has to do with emotions. Wow. What were you going after? The Four of Wands. So um, I use the Four of Wands in all decks to represent the Twin Flame connection. So it's a confirmation that the masculine recognizes this connection on some level. So I also made the 1111 calling card um, a confirmation card. So, you know, it gives spirit the opportunity to use the two cards, um, especially when doing, you know, divine partnership or twin flame reading. But anyway, so the original card meaning is the, t the twins coming together in the 3D and um, fulfilling their spiritual purpose, you know, their higher calling together in the 3D. So this also represents um, marriage, engagement, buying a home together, but it is, a, you know, a deeply loving bond. You know, you can see the, the twins sitting in front of the fire, listening to a crackle and just being, you know, feeling peace. So that's what he was pursuing. Strength card. So the strength card is actually the opposite of the chariot. It's showing how balanced he is. You know, he's using love, kindness, and compassion in order to overcome obstacles, make changes. But it is a gentle... Um, heart opening kind of energy. So it's going within, taming the beast within, while this is, you know, uh, directed, controlled energy. Devil. So the devil made its face, or made its appearance in the recent past. So I often see this as a timeline as well from past to future. So we can see there was a decision made to go forward with this connection and you know it's this love and gentleness that is opening that door. However, the devil showed up. So this is a chain in the 3D reality, a codependent relationship, addiction, or just self-limiting beliefs. So this is standing or was standing in his way. But if you can, if you notice this card just right above it, this is death of the ego, death of the old identity. So there's an understanding that it needed to be cleared. And he, you did so in a very gentle, loving way. You know, this is a disconnect from something in the 3D reality. This is death of the ego. And then here we have the ego, you know, which is a chain in 3D. So there, were, there was all, already that disconnect. Okay, let's see what else happened. Ooh, wow. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. So either, I think what I'm feeling here is the masculine really um, released a lot of pain that he's been holding in his heart. That's what's stopping him, this fear of having your heart broken fear of being vulnerable, fear of loving. You know, and, and I feel that it's cleared because of the fact that we have the sun right above it as a cornerstone card. That vibration 
is consuming the darkness. You know, what I'm seeing here is like this roaring light and darkness is, you know, trying to um, overcome it. But, I mean, you can't stamp out the sun, bro. That's the sun. I mean, there's so much fire and passion um, surrounding that darkness that, you know, it can't, it can't exist where there's light. Okay, so present Queen of Pentacles. So this is a 3D queen, so it kind of points to this fear of the 3D, something, you know, something is holding you back. You know, what I'm seeing here is that you desire a connection with the feminine, the 3D, and you already decided in the past to move forward. So the queen could represent an earth sign. Um, she is somebody who's very grounded, um, successful, independent. She enjoys you know, luxury. She showers herself with gifts. She looks after herself. <clears throat> she has a beautiful home. And she shares her abundance and her seeds with everyone. So we, you know, what I see here is this explosion and, you know, like collapsing from exhaustion because you can't fight how you feel anymore. So you took control and what you're moving towards is, you know, contacting your feminine in the 3D or having, you know, reunion or union. But let's see what the rest of the cards say. Temperance. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It's right below the the calling card, twin flame calling card. Um, so temperance is the ultimate union card for twin flames. It's the souls recombining. Temperance is the S in the yin and yang symbol. It also represents having patience, being in the now. Uh, but also having balance in all areas of your life, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. So you see your true love in this present moment. You see her as this angel, patient, um, free of expectations, attachments, just being in this moment. So this next card is the zero point. So this is the main message from the universe, Five of Cups. So it's right below the Five of Pentacles and the Strength card. So it points to a detachment, the, obviously the devil, um, this fear of having your heart broken. The Five of Cups is um, a closed heart. So this card also talks about attachment. So if you've attached yourself to an idea, a person, or a belief, or an outcome, and it doesn't work out the way you want it to, then you're left mourning in deep pain. Yeah, and, you know, it being beneath the strength card, what I'm feeling is, you know, you need to, like a gentle nudging from spirit. You know, I'm saying it, it's okay. It's, you know, everything's going to be fine. Don't fear. When it's true love, you know, that's, there's nothing like it. It opens you up. It makes you, you know, it draws out the best in you. And if it 
is truly yours, it will never leave you. So I think Spirit is asking you to open your heart and, um, you know, detach from everything, really. Um, yeah, well, let's carry on here. Yeah, I'm going to pull a, a card from Colette Baron Reed to see what that is all about. Spirit, what do you mean by the Five of Cups? That's the main energy. Maybe there is something that you need to release and you know it's going to be painful. Um, this one. The tribe. It's eight. It's infinity, you know, um, unfinished cycles. Okay, so the tribe, the meaning, community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. So the oracle message, this card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging and kin of kinship and purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you can share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your p position in the tribe, your presence is needed. So relationship message. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and other and other person leads and times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card um, points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet you're also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. Oh my God. So be the best you. Um, what the heck? Uh, um, it, this movie is kind of popping up in my mind. My mind. It's um, the best of me. That's kind of a twin flame movie as well. It's like, you know, true love, soulmates, finding each other again after years of separation. You know, they never stop loving each other. Um, unconditional love. So the tribe. Either you've, you know, you feel a sense of mourning or loss because you need to... Um, leave a group of people or you're trying to find your tribe right now you feel alone disconnected um and i think the answer spirit is trying to say you know find people that are like you and you know it opens up the door for communication and expressing yourself don't hold it in don't lock it away and again, it kind of points to that strength card, um, that kind of loving, open connection is very healing. 
So again, it, it's kind of pointing to these three cards here. You know, that something is, is making you feel disconnected or you're longing to find that tribe. Okay, next is the hangman. So letting go, <clears throat> sorry, letting go of control, surrendering, um, seeing things from a different perspective. So your perspective is shifting. Um, this card shows up when there's significant changes going on. And instead of trying to control the situation, um, you know, retaliate or uh, run or what have you, it, you know, Spirit is asking you just to surrender and allow whatever needs to be released to be released. And, um, but also shift your perspective. See things from a higher vantage point. Um, yeah, so that's right by, you know, right below the hangman. So again, there's a sense that something is being released or detached. Eight of Wands, very nice. Uh, so this is manifestation. And the obvious is communication. So texting or uh, social media, phone calls, um, Cupid's arrows. But this is a heightened energy. It's a vibration um, that is, you know, expansive and exciting and creative. Um, wand has to do with being on a spiritual journey. So we have that nine and a ten. So there's a sense of wavering in terms of your spiritual path you're you're doubting or you're you're fear, fearing that you're not making the right decisions but spirit is saying yes you're on the right path keep going you know the, um surround yourself with love and happiness don't allow the ego to break your heart anymore I know it hurts but if you choose to focus on that pain it will only bring you more pain so there are good things that are coming towards you near future five of swords right below the Queen of Pentacles. So watch your energy. What you put out, you get back. So this may be you retaliating. Um, or it could be walking away from negative thoughts, negative feeling, vibration, that kind of thing. Just not engaging in arguments. Not letting things get the better of you. King of Swords. Very nice. I love how that finger's pointing at the King of Swords and King of Swords like, what? You know, I'm, that kind of stuff doesn't affect me. You know, he's a king, he has mental clarity, he's like this crystal being almost, you know what I mean? It's like negative vibrations just bounce off of him. Uh, so this could represent an air sign, but what I feel here is complete control over your emotions, over your um, tendency or animalistic tendency to lash out at the devil. You know, and I, I mean, this is a huge, huge quantum leap to see a masculine unfazed by that kind of energy. You know, he knows his truth. 
he is like solid, like a stone, unmovable. And, you know, it's not earth energy. It's, it's kind of like, it's air. Even though air isn't heavy, there's a sense that you can't move air. Do you know what I mean? It's there. It's, yeah. So, <clears throat> either this means communication because there is my throat. Or it's this, um, you know, he makes decisions, he makes plans, and then he takes action. So you could be coming to this mental clarity, this point of detachment from your emotions and from being manipulated by somebody and not engaging in it, just letting it bounce off, basically. there okay next seven of wands very nice seven of wands is knowing your core values and beliefs and being able to express that it's confidence power speaking up speaking out so it is a bit of a defensive pose but it is the kind of strength that is required um, in order to not be you know, someone comes up and tries to start a fight with you, yeah, you dissolve that energy, you transmute it into kindness, but at the same time, you're not going to be, you know, beaten down by words. You have confidence. Do you know what I mean? You know your core values and beliefs. They're unshakable. It's strength and confidence. Wow, the universe card. This is the end of the fool's journey, the last piece of the puzzle. So it's the end of a cycle from um, 20 years up to lifetime, and it's right below that devil and death. So your life started to transform. You started to realize that you were chained, controlled by the ego. Your present moment is shifting that perspective and here's that final piece that journey is over it's like fire 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 release and then it's almost like you know you turned a corner here it's um you were illuminated and once you let that light in that love in you were free and you know, consume the darkness. So, yeah, this is spirit giving you a pat on the back saying, job well done. You've been through the fire countless times. You've, um, you know, felt deep pain, but also blissful love. And so the near future, there's a sense that Something's finally ending. Something that you've been trying to release for a very long time. And, you know, right now you need to grieve. Um, but don't let it consume your heart. Don't close off. Because obviously that twin flame energy will be coming back into your life again. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Very similar energy to the Four of Wands. It's 3D manifestation. It's a long-term goal. Tan is completion. So this is like retirement. You have abundance coming into your life. You don't have to worry about money anymore. You're just surrounded by love and friends and family. So, wow. Manifestation, new beginning, manifestation, sending vibrations, positive thoughts. Spirit pats you on the back and says, boom, everything you've ever wanted um, is about to be manifested into the 3D reality. Or, you know, 
and doesn't even necessarily have to be tangible things, but this is just that feeling of I've already arrived, I'm arrived. There's nothing out there that can make me feel whole. Do you know what I mean? It's very grounded, accomplished, um, knowing, deep knowing. Okay, so final row, um, cornerstone card, base chakra. So this is the lowest chakra. I'm kind of surprised to see it here. Um, it's opposite the nine of wands, you know, battling. Um, this is a feeling of not feeling safe. <laughs> um, you know, your, your sense of safety and security is challenged. And it's right below the five of swords. So, I'm almost feeling it as a cornerstone card, do you know what I mean? It's like one of the pillars. We here, you know, this is um, spiritual strength. In the John Holland deck, it shows a Buddha hol holding up this massive stone Buddha. Um, so, right away I see this pillar kind of holding up the reading right and then on the other side this is the most positive arcana in the deck it is the best card in the deck and it's masculine power you know holding up the other cornerstone and then we have this basic sense of safety There's, it's like an unwavering strength and knowing and it is a grounded um, pillar once again the hermit so that's right below these this feeling of um, detachment mental clarity being in the now you know, it's like freedom is what I'm feeling here. The hermit is somebody who detaches from the 3D world, from material world, from stories, from conditioning. It's illumination, and it's also a journey of self-discovery, but the hermit's been on this journey for a very long time. So they've discovered their own truth, and then they share that wisdom with others. Um, so... You know, it points to that king of swords, clarity, control, um, not being, you know, there's no attachments here whatsoever. It's this absolute freedom that I feel in these last two rows. Beautiful. Wow, of course. Not surprised. Oh my God. My heart just like totally exploded just now. The Two of Cups, spiritual union. You know, and it's the return. You know, the masculine has to go off on his own to complete this journey on his own, find his own way back to his true love. So, this is recognizing your soulmate and it opens up your heart, which opens higher levels of consciousness. Right? You can see that opening. And so, you know, it points right to the Four of Wands, which is the Confirmation and Twin Flame. The Temperance card, which is the ultimate um, Union card. And this Balance. So, you know, it was almost hellish for him trying to resist um, his true love. Sacral chakra, number two. Number one, number two. So this is where your emo emotions are stored. And since it's right beside the two of cups, and we got that happening. There's like this overwhelming emotions that hit you when you come into contact with your twin. 
express yourself. Don't be afraid to feel. Final cornerstone card. What? The king of pentacles. That's awesome. Oh my god. So, you know, this is kind of like a fear that maybe he's going to be rejected, but then finds that strength and courage and mental clarity, takes action, and boom, look who shows up at the door. So the king of pentacles, the king, the 3D king, the one you can hold and feel. So this is a manifestation of the union into the 3D. Um, so it's a cornerstone card so this is very important energy for you you're trying to find the courage the clarity, the strength um, to come out of that like hermit state into the 3D right below the ten of pentacles you already have everything and I like to see this guy as him retired so you've already reached that feeling of completion and look what you're heading towards I mean that's incredible you got both union card well all three four four cards that represent union in the 3D Or even more. Oh my God. Wow. So you're getting that gentle nudge from the universe. You know, go ahead. It's okay. You know, if the Five of Swords is the only thing that's holding you back right now, and well, you know, the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, what I'm feeling here, it's just, it's just a little bump in the road. Nothing you can't handle. Okay, so um, I'll pull one card from Miss and Mermaid, so this will be the overall message from the universe. Reaching for sunset. Oh, that's perfect. And it's almost like this is a sun, too. Um, Dusky amber, even tide, nightfall creeping ever near. Through my light, crepuscular light, let me know the sunset's here. Oh, how I embrace the glooming, knowing that the end is nigh. May there come a brighter morning, I shall greet it by and by. A mermaid surrounded by colorful tropical fish reaches through the water towards the bright rays of sun emitted from the evening sunset. While the sunset takes place in all of its glory, well above the mermaid's undersea realm, she is determined to pull it all the nearer. The meaning, the journey's end. You are approaching the last leg of a long and tiring journey. Definitely, uh, you can see that sense of completion, you know. Wow. Um, one that cannot end soon enough to suit you. You are definitely ready for some closure. Fear not. Although the difficult situation is drawn on for so long, there really is an end in sight. Once the dust has cleared, take some time to reflect on what you have been through and make peace with the, your struggles before starting something else. Remember that one door when one door closes, another opens, and you are definitely poised for a promising new beginning. Reach for the sunset and embrace the forthcoming dawn of a new day. Wow, that's beautiful. So yeah, we can see that. Take take a deep breath. Take a pause. You know, because there is this cycle that is nearing an end. 
You definitely feel that and it's a movement towards your true love. In the motherfucking 3D. All right, so um, yeah, please leave a comment. Let me know if this resonated. Um, my love goes out to some of you beautiful souls out there. I know you're going through a difficult time, bros. I love you. Um, yeah, just watch your vibration, though. Um, be careful what you send out into the, the universe. I do read the comments, and I do absorb that energy. So if you can try to keep it uplifting, that'd be awesome. Okay, but don't be afraid to express yourself. You know, if you need to vent, you need to say what's on your mind, do so. But just remember, I will be reading those comments, okay? <laughs> All right. Love you. Peace.